From applause, music, Danila in front of a record breaking 96,000 people. Music, music, music. Tyson just on tonight. What are your thoughts? How dangerous is Daniel Juai in there tonight? How dangerous Daniel Deer isn't he the champion? Yes, so you mean how dangerous is Edge the champion? To be fair, the, the bookie's favorite is Joshua, so yeah, yeah. But it's Joshua's challenging do for the belt. Is he not music? Music. Hey, but if he trades the ball. Underscore, underscore. He got him, he got him, man. Music with the magnitude of it was phenomenal when it was a phenomenal fight, and I always fade it to be a haggler situation. And that's what it was two guys give everything it takes two people to make a fight like that. Music, music, music. No, no, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. I can't believe it, 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 I can't believe it. Music. Music promoter Eddie Hearn believes that many are overlooking Daniel Dubois ahead of his upcoming fight against Anthony Joshua. Hearn has been a vocal supporter of Dubois, emphasizing his boxing intelligence. He said, I'd like this fight from the moment it was announced. My opinion is that Edge is a former champion looking for another bite of the cherry to become a three-time heavyweight world champion and join the elite boxers of the past who have managed this feat. There's his incentive. Hearn highlights that this motivation could play a crucial role in the fight. However, he is equal equally adamant about Dubois' capabilities. Will it be enough to stop a young, hungry, fearless Dubois? Who is it given enough credit for his boxing IQ? Vern questions. He believes that Dubois, often underestimated, possesses the skills and intelligence necessary to compete at the highest level. Hearn thinks the fight will bring out the best in Dubois, who has shown significant improvement since his last major bouts. He continued, I think Edge will bring out the best in Dubois, and we have seen the best of Edge, who these days loses his shape badly once he only loads, whereas Dubois holds his shape a lot better Joshua, while formidable has been known to lose his shape during fights which can leave him vulnerable in contrast. Hearn emphasizes that Dubois maintains his form, allowing him to deliver sustained power throughout the fight. Oh my god, oh no, Hearn is optimistic about Dubois' growth, stating the much-improved Dubois seems to be getting better, and I would expect to see marginal improvement going into this fight. The idea of continual improvement is vital in boxing, especially against an opponent with the pedigree of Joshua Hearn envisions a scenario where Dubois utilizes better head and lateral movement, which could disrupt Joshua's rhythm. I think with a lot more head and lateral movement from Dubois, his work rate will be too much for Adju will simply not be able to cope. Dubois wins inside 10 rounds. Tikeo Hearn predicts music confidently on the other side. Mike Tyson offers a different perspective. He acknowledges Dubois' potential but leans toward Joshua in this matchup while Dubois has rebounded well from his loss to Usyk and he certainly has the proverbial puncher's chance in this contest. He is facing a boxer in Anthony Joshua, who seems to have fully regained his confidence. Tyson points to Joshua's resurgence after his setback against Andy Ruiz, stating it took a while to get over his loss to Andy Ruiz but through sheer activity the past year or so he is once again punching with authority and doesn't look gun sheet 31 what's happened so right now I'm just in that conqueror's mindset like what's the next feat where are we going next and 96 Tyson also notes Joshua's physical advantages he recognizes Joshua's ability to control the distance and deliver powerful strikes Edge has many of the physical advantages and he's also the straighter puncher from the outside this clarity in Joshua's punching style might give him an edge early Early in the fight, Tyson speculates that Joshua will start cautiously boxing at a distance before unleashing more aggressive combinations. My view is that he will box early and then layer his attack with more and more right hands. I see him stopping Dubois in round 7 Tyson forecast, showing confidence in Joshua's capabilities to finish the music fight. Tyson Fury, another heavyweight champion, adds to the discussion, bringing a unique perspective. Very interesting fight with both fighters coming in with a ton of confidence, Fury states. He reflects on their past sparring sessions, noting not sure what actually happened in their sparring years ago. But I don't take that serious. This indicates that while past experiences may linger, they do not necessarily dictate future outcomes. Did do the work in the Jai or did he overlook Daniel Do Big Big Round Fury sees both fighters as having gone through transformative phases after their respective losses. Both guys had their ups and downs throughout their careers, but after each guy's last loss, it seemed like they are different guys. He observes this sentiment resonates particularly with Joshua, who Fury believes could have performed better in his second bout against 
Alexander Usyk, I felt Joshua could have easily won the second Usyk fight if he just did a little more but in my opinion he just didn't believe in himself like he does now look you always look switched on. But how mentally and physically far are you prepared to go on Saturday night to ensure you come out victorious 12 rounds, 12 rounds, and that's it, I'll be in there. It's he's a good, he's a good fighter so all the role of mental strength in boxing cannot be overstated and Fury praises Joshua's renewed confidence. He highlights the work of Joshua's trainer, Ben Davidson. Ben Davidson has done a sensational job in getting Joshua back to where we thought he always should have been. The mental aspect is so much more important than the physical, this acknowledgement of the psychological side of boxing is critical as it often influences a fighter's performance in the ring. Fury's analysis of Dubis is more cautious. He mentions Dubois' mixed results in recent bouts, stating in Dubois, I'm not sure how to analyze him. He's had three meaningful fights and went W2 with that win against Harovic, who I was never high on. On Fury's uncertainty about Dubois' consistency raises questions about whether he can handle the pressure of facing a heavyweight champion like Music. Joshua both fighters have a reputation for being powerful punchers which adds another layer of intrigue to the fight Fury points out obviously both guys are great punchers which usually means it should go rounds because they'll be respectful of each other's power this acknowledgement highlights a potential tactical approach where both fighters may exercise caution leading to a more extended fight. So Emi is a little boy, he's an older, older man, he I mean you know, but little boys become men, and that's what's going to happen on S. Fury, speculates on how Joshua might approach the fight strategically, I think if Joshua isn't hesitant, and is smart while being aggressive, he could stop Dubois in the first half of the fight, but I think he'll be respectful, as will Dues, and it'll go either the distance or Joshua stops him. Late Fury's insight here emphasizes the importance of strategy and respect between fighters, particularly when both possess knockout power. When it comes to overall experience, Fury believes Joshua has the edge. I believe Joshua wins in all departments, bigger fights, better opposition, better trainer, and the way he's looked at his last three fights, I think he's the best heavyweight in the world. This sentiment reflects the broader consensus in the boxing community that Joshua, with his championship pedigree and experience, presents a formidable challenge for Dubois. Deontay Wilder also weighed in on the highly anticipated matchup between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. Wilder never won to mince words, has been watching both fighters closely as they prepare for their clash in the ring. I've got to give credit to both Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. Wilder started both of these guys, have been working hard and turning their careers around Around Joshua man he's been looking sharp lately like the best version of, of himself his last four fights he made those guys look like they didn't even belong in the ring with him Wilder has long respected Joshua's talent even amid the ups and downs of the British fighters career after some rough patches Joshua has come back looking stronger and more determined which Wilder believes makes him dangerous once again that's the edge we remember Wilder continued focused hungry and back to doing what he does best he's got that fire again and when a fighter like Joshua gets his rhythm back, that's a problem for any heavyweight in the world. Joshua's recent performances have impressed many in the boxing world, and Wilder is no exception. He believes Joshua is returning to form after dealing with setbacks in previous years, showing a more polished, refined version of himself. The way he's been fighting, it's like he's back to his old self, but better Wilder added more polished. That's dangerous for any heavyweight out there, including Duba. Joshua's been picking his opponents apart, making it clear why he's still one of the best, but Wilder didn't stop there. While praising Joshua's resurgence, he was quick to acknowledge the threat that Daniel Dubois poses. At 25, Dubois is considered one of the rising stars in the heavyweight division, and Wilder knows all too well how a young, hungry fighter can surprise even the most seasoned champions. Don't get it twisted, Wilder warned Daniel Dubois is on a mission he's been grinding hard and you can see it in his last two fights, he's taken out two undefeated contenders, and that's not something you just brush off.